Hello all, in this video, I am going to discuss about the usefulness of CSL editor when you are using Menly referencing software. This is the document where I am using the new Menly site because Menly desktop is no more supported or recommended by Menly. So they are promoting this Menly site only. It is clearly a downgrade when compared to the Menly desktop. But uh, when people are already the existing users of Menly site, you will be facing some of the difficulties. Here we have used Vancouver style of referencing. It, Vancouver styling is a numbering pattern. So if you want to edit some of this reference, say for example, this is a Vancouver in brackets. If you want to keep Vancouver in superscripts or Vancouver in other Vancouver style, what we usually do is we go to this citation style, we click on this uh, change citation style and we will search for the commonly appearing reference styles here. We will search for additional styles like this. We click on this Vancouver with the different options. So we look at the Vancouver options here. If your desired Vancouver styling option is available, then we click here and change it to the new Vancouver style. But what happens is you want something, your journal or your guide or your university asks for a different style of Vancouver, which is not available here, then you need to go to this CSL editor in Menly, where you have to create your own style. So there you need to use this CSL editor. So say for example you want to change the citation style or you want to change this single uh, word or add some word in the same Vancouver styling then you need to use this CSL editor in Menly. So what we need to do is we need to sign in into the Menly then we need to click on the help gates then you can go to the CSL editor where uh, the link will be given. This is the link csl.menly.com it directly leads to the visual editor. Suppose if I click on this visual editor CSL visual editor then the visual editor uh, will be open. So what I would say is instead of creating a new citation, this here by default it, it has taken American Psychologist Association that is APA style of uh, referencing and if we want to modify we can modify but I am going to show here the Vancouver style modification. So I am click I have clicked on this uh, search by name. The most popular styles will be available here. So either you can install it directly or you can edit according to your own need. I am clicking on this Vancouver I am going to click on this edit. So since I have worked already on this Vancouver, it is asking for open your existing style or create new style. I am clicking on the create new style based on the Vancouver. So I clicked on this. So now how to use this is, it is a visual editor. So when you keep here, you want to change the number pattern. It will automatically show the layout. So if basically you want to change the numbering pattern, you can use the citation label also. This is the initials of the authors the citation labels and uh, then uh, code numbers will also will be given so you can use like this but the most common way is the citation number so when you keep the citation number it will be like this so like this you can uh, change any number of if you click on this layout uh, automatically this will appear so basically this will show a comma in between the, as a separation prefix bracket and suffix also closing brackets so you want to change the text uh, to bold you then you can click then automatically your referencing will be changed like this. So just to demonstrate, I have changed this bold, italic and uh, underlining uh, words. It will it will appear like this. I just note it down. Then suppose you want to remove this URL from, uh, from the referencing. You can click on this uh, URLs. Then if you look at the URL here, go to this if URL, there is a condition. So you click on this condition. If the document type is an web page, then you add a command here then if the document uh, click on from uh, the document type to variable then click on the URL so what will happen is here the URL will be displayed only when the web page is present so this is the command here so like this you can change add uh, edit or any new group so using this macros after this what you need to do is go to style save style then automatically the link will be uh, appearing here you right click it copy the link address then go back to the word document here in uh, citation settings change citation style click on add a custom style then you paste your link click on the update citation style automatically the citation styles has been converted into italics bold without changing any uh, superscript or subscript it has been changed the numbers has been changed at the same time the URL also has been removed. Likewise you can edit the citations and also the bibliography present here. And you can create your own reference style through this CSL editor. So I would recommend you to 
go to the standard referencing styles and edit this reference style and make it to your own need thereby you can create you can create your own referencing style in mainly using this csl editor hope this video was useful to you if you have any doubts ask the questions in comment box if you like this video please click on the like button share it to your friends subscribe to our channel if you haven't already subscribed thanks for watching this video